have a terrible mugshot. I was like, I'm gonna be famous one day, jail? guys. I You've been like, to jail before? I was like, can I retake this over? Can I get my lipstick? Can I fix Wait, my lipstick? Like, what, what did you get? Yeah. A- don't just breeze by you going to jail. Yeah, what um, did you go well, to jail no, for? Well, no, I mean, if you get arrested again, I have to. She's still here. So one she's is okay. One I wasn't mad at, but I was still like, can I? How many times? Wait, what did you do, Keisha? Wait, the more than once? The other one, though, is like James Brown. I was like, listen, guys. You have two gotta, mug shots? I got to take over. You got to get me another shot. You are a computer engineer. <laughs> but the what? guards know you. Why, by, hey, what Keisha. did you do? I need to, what Keisha, crime you were seem committed. so sweet. And Keisha, I'm here. I don't even know how you, you got You this up. Yeah. You said you what got mug shots. Oh, no, I said, I said, you said you get some paperwork. And I was like, you're going to go to jail. Uh, you're like, ah, I've, I've got no problem with that. I just want to be prepared for the mug shot. Wait, what did you do? I need to know this. It's so much worse. The time itself? No, because the mugshot lives She said, forever. I'm going to be fair. And you're time, right. You're time absolutely passes. right. I'm when you book, book that big up. movie and they give you $20 million, they're going to be like, the time passes did that mugshot every Didn't I book her? <laughs> did not book her? And it's not even the fact, like, yeah, I went to jail, so what? But the picture is, that's the, like, Hilarious. Oh you're the only one in the cell fixing my yourself mascara up. mascara was like, I was like, Putting on mascara. <laughs> Keisha, what did you do? Let me get my angle. What did you do? She is ignoring you on purpose. I know, on purpose. I mean, things happen, you know. Sometimes you look up in jail. It's just. <laughs> is it violent? <laughs> yes, it's a vi- white collar crime, blue collar crime. You look up and you're in jail. <laughs> you look up. By the way, I'm searching Lakeisha. <laughs> I want to see. Yeah, it's not, not, not released. I haven't seen it. Nobody it's cares not when it's released. released. No, I'm not famous. Now there's some That's pictures hilarious. of you while Somebody you were young. No, but isn't it like it's like public? Like all your mugshots are public, right? Well, I don't know. They are public, but they, it doesn't mean it's posted online. Yeah, to get to it, you got yeah, go to go to where she was oh, booked. See, okay. What county was they it? may not have it online. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, how old were you? Were like, you like young, or this is like recently? Was this no, in the Detroit? The first one was like Absolutely. the first one was, okay. and I was like, everybody's, you know how everybody got a mugshot? Because I was like, I can't keep my it's phone. Class like, what is happening here? So you know, you don't know nobody's number by heart. You just go <laughs> dial it. The only person number I know by right, heart so is, after is the house number. So I'm <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> so you had to call your peers. It was together. so exactly. embarrassing. But like my daddy like came up there like you know because it's my baby girl. But then when we got in the car. He like, no, what the fuck? Where because, were you when And they wouldn't even the let me get a phone call. Happened. I was like, OJ even got a phone call. Like, all this time. Was <laughs> I've always wanted is that a real thing. Like, I want my phone call. Yes. Yeah, you're both yes. Yes. That's like, phone yeah. 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 Oh, it's too real? much. Yeah. Yeah. Can they just say like, no? I need legal. my phone call. But no, they don't have to do, within a, have to do that do within a certain amount of time? I think it is a time frame. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's not. it doesn't have to be immediate. Yeah, it's like, not like it, immediate, it's, but... Yeah, it's like triage. But they, they had got more ridiculous. stuff to do, more important stuff to do. Mm-hmm. Like, they will get to you. Is, it a, pay, is it a pay phone It still? was just a lot. Uh, yeah, but I think they give It's you, collect calls They now. give you yeah. collect. It's yeah. either collect calls or that, like, when you answer the phone, they'll just be like, it's an inmate at such and such right. is calling you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know people who just said what they wanted to say in that little time for their name. <laughs> it's like, hey, what's so, 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 up? Pick me up. Plus everything they got to say. Yeah. I was like, damn, I don't know. None of my friends don't have a heart. Yeah. So what, what did you do? I didn't have my hair scarf. What did you do, Keisha? She doesn't want to tell us. Are we on camera? Yes, we are recording. Oh, this is part. I'm absolutely looking up Lakeisha. Are you just googling random black girl mugshots? And nothing's coming up. I feel deep. It could that serious. Am I even on camera? Yes, you are. It's just inconvenient. For the moment, you know. And then your second one was when you was adult. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's she looking at Kev's phone to make sure you don't. Know, wait, hilarious. So, so Keisha, wait. When you date, like, do you tell dudes this when you're dating them? Like, so there might be a couple mug shots. I did some time. Well, until just recently, uh, them niggas had mug shots. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. You guys traded them. So you want to swap <laughs> jail like, stories? Like, cards? like Pokemon cards? What'd you do? <laughs> mm. Let me see. <laughs> 2004, no Keisha, I choose one. you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, guys. I date um, deacons and you are deacons. school no. teachers. They got they have the fly, like young deacons. They like have the, to fly the pastors into Detroit because there are no <laughs> niggas just born. No, ready it, to be a pastor. You know what? It, was, it was this whole thing. <laughs> hey, what'd you do on the yard? <laughs> Do you, work hair? Do you work out? Worked out. Okay. You didn't have that. Like it I was one of those like out. quick. It was like, and then, and then the second time it was like it was kind of irritating because girls was near like acting like it was so serious. Like you gonna eat your sandwich and it's like, girl, why you? <laughs> you gonna eat your first of all? LA bread. is very. Someone very really nice. said they that. Give you healthy that you like the options are healthier food wise. Yeah, and it was like, girl, you about to be out of here later on today. Shut up, <laughs> quick. <acting> like, <laughs> If I had to bet what money on Keisha phone? what her crime was, Stab. it was no, it was, it was I, I would bet it was traffic related. Yeah, I would it was either tickets. Tra- something. Oh, I thought you meant like trafficking people. Right? No, no, right. <laughs> no, no. Yes, trafficking something oh, that you should have been paid. Yeah. Something there was a warrant out for your arrest, bench warrant nah, from not going to. Nah, she, she did. Wait, criminal. you saw that? She, did she was like, she was listening. You like, 
I didn't say she's from Detroit. She was boosting clothes. I did, however, get my license revoked the month after I got. Oh, was it credit card fraud? But that wasn't what I was doing. No, no, no. No, I don't steal. That's one thing I don't do, guys. That's where I draw the line. Murder. You didn't say anything when it was murder. Distribution, cocaine. Drug dealing is honest, but like stealing is that's where I know. Stealing's where I draw the line. Felonies, we've all had them. There's a code in the streets. We have to abide by that. Out of these new kids, I don't know. We don't steal. I don't know. I'm gonna be thinking about this the whole episode. I need to know this. So, Kim. (laughs) You know what? Actually, this is a great spot for us to jump into the first topic. Uh, We got the original squad here. We got Pat Cloud. We got Meg Scoop. Uh, Kim on stage. I'm to hear more. We got special guest, (laughs) ex-felony. Ex-felony holder. Ex-felony holder. uh, Keisha E's in the building. Ex-felon. I have two degrees, guys. Actually, I think you're always a felon. You're always... Yeah. Oh, well, that's true. Ex-convict. Ex-convict. Ah. Ex-convict. Ex-convict. That's funny. No, you're still a felon. This is a very lengthy topic. Keisha, but if she ain't got no felony, because she's traveled too much. Yeah. Felonies get in the way of travel. I thought you can... Oh, you can't travel some, with felonies? If you it got some depends. felonies, you can't... <laughs> 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 I'm not saying, I'm not saying that 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 i am not saying that i am not saying out of control and unbearable before they get help. But that is far from the truth. Therapy is a tool you utilize before it gets worse and it can help you avoid those lows. And to be quite honest, many of us have been taught that mental health shouldn't be a part of our normal life. But that is wrong also. We take care of our bodies at the gym, the doctor, nutrition. We should be focusing on our minds just as much. Therapy has helped me through the pandemic tremendously. And I was in therapy before the pandemic. So I I got in early before things got spiraled out of control for me. And I'm glad I did because it helped keep me in check. Look, it's never too late to get help. And that's why you should try BetterHelp. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with a therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. Is much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you could be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. And all Dev Squadcast listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash squad. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash squad. S Q U. A-D-D. Before we start, I just want to say something to the audience. Which camera should I look at, Cam? Main? Here? No, that one. That's your main. Guys, when we're shooting multiple episodes, we shouldn't have to change shirts. Let's not stand on ceremony. You, you guys know stand what you're going to say. Nobody's well, caring. I, I'm just saying, Did you have I, that on the whole time? No, I just had it on the last episode. But I just mm. want y'all to know, like, we only change them for y'all. Yeah. Because yeah. back in the day, y'all used to be like, you're Musty. wearing the same stuff. <laughs> guys, let's just, Musty I don't want to bring through. four shirts. We just wow. want to make the episode. Also, if like you wore the am. same shirt a week later, would so, it matter? Yeah. <laughs> so so let's just wash agree as a unit that <laughs> we don't have to do it. Yes. Okay? We just want shirt. Because even when we do trade in shirts, we have the same pants on, so you can right. still call us muscle. <laughs> same. Everything else. <laughs> No, you I gotta pick out four <laughs> shirts. I gotta steam four shirts. Mm. I just don't want to. I definitely iron yeah. all four of them today. So it's just like, more I don't know about work. That. It's yes. more work. It is yeah. more work. And we're doing it for y'all. So now let's break the fourth wall. We don't want to do it anymore. We gotta go for do it. This... We got a new backdrop for you guys. We got a new yeah. backdrop. Yeah, that's, that's amazing, by the way. Jeez, oh it looks God. like somebody punched through. The topics change. Yes. Now we did the same topic. I'd be like, okay, come on, we gotta switch it up. But the people change, the topics change. Let the shirts stay. <laughs> the background <laughs> should should cover that. Yeah. Cover the shirts. All right, Tia, go ahead, man. All right, first like topic of the day. We have <laughs> being <laughs> rich from an illegal action or barely making it from living an honest life. Oh, first Boy, one. When I tell you, <laughs> you don't even have, I don't even care what the second thing is. <laughs> just barely making America's it? America's whole setup is being rich from illegal activity. Right. Boom. The whole Kennedy's whole setup was bootlegging. Rockefellers, Rothschild, They bootlegged them. liquor. Even mm-hmm. people with enough money already are still doing illegal stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes. Like, like, it's random. The doggone tax codes that the rich people break, it'd be like, 
the regular people and people gonna say, Kev, you got a Maserati. I'm talking about really rich. I'm talking about boats, yachts, a boat that pulls into another. Talking boat. about that? <laughs> yes, That's three generations. Oh, the yachts with a uh, with a helicopter pad on. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not, like, you, you landed on a boat. <laughs> like I'm talking about the really rich. Like, I can't even imagine what that costs to, to maintain. <laughs> right. Let alone like you got to yeah. you got to fuel that up and you have to pay for the crew. On there, you have to have yes. a captain, Storage, you have to have a chef, a uh, chef. It's so all of, oh yeah. my god! I'm talking the about real. We talking about, yeah. and that's what they do. See, the Uber rich, they they get on regular people. I just had a couple good years. This nigga Jeff Bezos made more money in the pandemic than he did the the year prior. Yeah. That's crazy. His net worth, he gave away half his net worth upon divorce, and mm-hmm. he's still a billionaire. And then still, not only a billionaire, the richest nigga in America. He's like, I don't care. You know how rich you gotta be to give away half and still, still be, be number ri- one. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's Dang, crazy. I didn't even think about that. That nigga is so yeah. rich he, he was had like a handicap. Space. I don't know. I, I, I only have eleven minutes. I have an eleven o'clock. Like <laughs> it's space. <laughs> You know how rich you, you gotta be where for? space is the thing that interests you? Yeah. Where else yeah. can I travel that I haven't been? What else can I do? I can do are... stuff that nobody else James can. James Cameron was like, bottom of the ocean. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> By myself. <laughs> in, in, a, in a smart car. That is rich. <laughs> That's wild. And here we are, everybody was like, oh, how dare that woman take half of his fortune? And you think he was caring? You think he was mad? Yeah. Yeah. She was like, man, I'm stressed out. Private <laughs> island. Private island. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, huh? You yeah. We were that talking out? about that the other day. Like, that rich people like us, you don't go on Expedia and be like, renting <laughs> this island. That's a whole right. other that is, world. We looked it up, though. We looked it up. I'm damning and that's just scary. Like, oh, really? how, how you can buy an island and how much islands go for. Actually, how, how much do they cost? There's a website. There's a web, there's how a much are they? It. Not that expensive. <laughs> I mean, in terms, in terms of, like, what we have, for sure. But, like, you'd think it was, like, some trillion dollar number. But also... Those um, some of those islands were like ba- like barely islands. It yeah. was just like oh. a little thing with oh, trees yeah. on it. But it wasn't what like Jeff it, Bezos though. was doing. Uh, yeah, but they they had a website where people were already like living that. on them too. Like mm. you, white no, people just... ain't got no problem. All right, nigga, this is mine. Right, the colonization <laughs> <laughs> away from you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, who cares about what's illegal? Do you think Le- there's any rich people who haven't done anything illegal? Yeah, I think so. Well, it also depends on what you call rich. Like, but yes, you get to billionaire status. But then mm-hmm. if I do some legal shit on any taxes or something. Uh, no, no. Nigga. But it's not Jeff illegal. Bezos. It's because taxes are set up with <laughs> loopholes that make it very unfair exactly. for other people. But it's legal. Taxes have always been for the common people. Mm-hmm. Taxes came from kings and Right. We, you live here to, to protect to you. Support rich. It was yeah, always to support the niggas in power. The yeah. people in power didn't pay taxes to themselves. <laughs> right. That's for y'all. That's true. Why would they be like, we need taxes? Yeah. And we ha- we get the most. Tax. <laughs> right. right. That makes never train of thought tappers. makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> America's whole setup was the, the whole thing that we started off was we're tired of paying taxes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the niggas who started it were not going to be like then. But guys, let's be fair. Now that we've done so this, so rich people were like, "Man, there's a lot, a lot of potholes. Let's ask the poor people." <laughs> yes, let's, let's make no sense. They could have just covered These it. These poor people so need to pay them. for the roads. Every time it should both work as a society. On. We should be right. like, it's all six of us in here. Like right. y'all, let's put in a little bit. So right. when something got to be done, we can do it. Uh-huh. But in in actuality, somebody sits above us and is like them. Mm. Just well, us, bro. Yes, that's ridiculous. Like the. Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, they hire the best IRS people, like the auditors. They hire them to be like, how can I get the most out of my right. taxes? Because like Amazon, they don't. Yes, yes. They, get, they have like the, they hire accountants. former accountants for the IRS, auditors, accountants, oh. lawyers. They, they work for them, code. so they'd be like, make me inauditable. Like one thing Amazon does that's they huh. get away with it. They lease their IP to themselves. They have a company that owns Amazon IP that doesn't is not on the United States soil. Right. And if Amazon made seven hundred million in profit, they that company will then charge Amazon seven hundred million to use their I, uh, uh, IP, and they make a net zero. Right. So that's, and that's how completely uh, legal. Completely legal. What? Yeah. They, yes. they can hide everything. Everything. They're not hiding it. What, They're Swiss just saying I have. Do? I own this company, but then this company is the one that does the business mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. So then I'll charge them this, and then I can For pay hosting, my taxes. And I, yep. the hell? It's the same yeah, company, man. but it's all legal. Oh it's all I saw legal. this video. They were saying that this guy said that. Art is probably yep. the best way to hide money. Oh, because you can't yep. prove a lot of stuff. Well, yeah, because like you can 
you can buy a hundred dollar picture, but mm-hmm. you can value it mm-hmm. value it at one point five million dollars. And so if you do some oh, work for because it's created some other criminals or get something from some other criminals <laughs> or vice versa, you can now charge them the money that the the work costs mm-hmm. or the drug costs, hmm. and you just give them this art because. That makes art make a lot more sense. Because remember when a, art a banana... Art is how the, the uber wealthy the transfer wealth. The wall and yeah. sold yes. it for like half a mil. Yeah, because mm. capital gains on houses, all that yep. stuff is hard. But art, like remember, did you see Tenet? No, mm-hmm. I never yeah. saw Okay, so there's a part That's about Tenet about they have like these room. Swiss rules yeah. where they mm-hmm. hold art. That's why Jay-Z and them, they get, get into buying art. Right. There's ways to like... I was reading about this. If, if Keisha was filthy rich, right? Mm. And she bought a piece of art that was worth $15 million. She if she lends it to a museum for six months, like then they're it. like, okay, you don't have to pay no taxes. So it's cheaper for her to give it to a museum for a while, hold on to it, and the transport might be expensive, but the actual piece, mm-hmm. they'd be like, all right, you gave it to a museum, so we're gonna go ahead and give you. And then she just hands what that piece. What does the of museum art. do? They they they'll, they'll show it right. and they'll basically <laughs> waive what she would have paid because they didn't have to pay for the art. Oh, so she didn't have to pay the fifteen mil mm-hmm. period. Right. right. Or, no, the taxes on it. Yeah. Right. Oh. But then if Keisha dies, she just be like. To hear, or my son, you know, who's never gonna go to jail. Here's the art, <laughs> you know, and then he don't have to. He, you can leave it out of the will because he now has the value of of, of that piece, and he doesn't have to put it into right. like like houses. They gonna tax you. Mm-hmm. They yep. gonna kill you on houses. Houses, yeah, yeah. 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 capital yeah. gains. Pro- they gonna kill you on houses. But art, they, it's 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 further ahead in, in like it's people be like Bitcoin's a new way. It might be, probably will be. Yes. But the rich people, art is how they stay rich. They have and to we, pay taxes. I thought that was a person to person transaction. They, you still pay a tax? lot of times you no. start to pay taxes on that. But yeah, yeah anything yeah. that huh. anything that appreciates, especially like you uh, definitely have to pay taxes, which is crazy because I'm like this land is stolen. How I'm paying y'all for this? You, you didn't pay for this land? The whole you didn't pay for this? I got to pay America's you for something you just stole. So wild. Wild. The whole it's thing crazy. about America is wild. It is. It's just, there's one thing they will never go short on, and that's audacity. They <laughs> have <laughs> abundance. <laughs> and, uh, of audacity. Charges for everything. United States. <laughs> yeah. That show was like really celebrating Christopher Columbus, and nobody really knew what he did. Right. Even teachers were just like right. straight right. face. Right. Yeah, this... And I had like I, we had like a play where some of us were like yeah. idiots yeah. and some of us were like pilgrims. Yeah. Uh, we were just pictures. like, yeah, turkey. <laughs> These niggas came what with smallpox. Right. Small, and the thing is that they that they really like it was a, it was bio warfare. If you really think about <laughs> how they really won, it wasn't like hand to hand combat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Smallpox. They were yeah. like, huh? You guys haven't been filthy like we have been. Take these infectious diseases. <laughs> mm-hmm. We've already been sick. That's now you'll just be dying. Wild. And Isn't then we'll crazy? write history and we'll say we were nice and they were mean. <laughs> like they came and right. called the niggas who lived here savages. <laughs> and <laughs> Indians. <laughs> you won't call them. This isn't that place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> and it's stuck too. It's what? stuck. That's so Wild crazy. as hell. It wasn't man. just like a rumor we all heard, like like Sierra having both. Who, who was that? <laughs> who started? Yeah. I don't know, but what? it's like I don't know how we all got that without. You never heard that Sierra, Sierra was a hermaphrodite. hermaphrodite. You never, heard, never heard that. that. Like rumor, like my goodie Sierra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. 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 that for years. Was like, she's a hermaphrodite. I'm like, why would they say and that? The, the craziest thing is all of us grew up in different parts <laughs> of the United <laughs> States. There's no internet. That was not a rumor on TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. How <laughs> did so many people hear it? I still don't know. How does this stuff it wasn't love. even like that. It wasn't just like I heard Christopher Lum- Columbus was a good guy. It was like no textbook, it grown was person right. teaching yes. mm-hmm. it homework. Right. It's like I was so homework. Dis- we really had to do reports on that, <laughs> yes. and, and we all never- of it is just false. All of Come it. That's the name of like black history. That's why if I had a chance to do something illegal, I, I don't. I have a hard time like harming people, mm. but <laughs> scamming. T- loopholes. Most good business but is just yeah, I mean, taking advantage of us a, a certain yep. place at a certain time. Mm-hmm. It's like prohibition. Niggas got super rich during prohibition. Yep. Then they got rich again when it was over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crazy. that's crazy. When it was like alcohol, alcohol is illegal now. No one was like, dang, can't drink now. No, no. <laughs> like no nope. moonshine under the radar. Just yeah. applies to poor people. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't apply to rich people. All the speakeasies, them niggas are not gonna make no laws where they're like, you think we're not gonna be drinking? <laughs> <laughs> you thought no. we met everybody. <laughs> we met <laughs> everybody. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> so, yeah. Stop, that man. So crazy. I don't know. I'm on the fence with. You've already got felonies. <laughs> no, you made your choice. You're on an electric felonies? fence with barbed wire. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> in my younger days, but in my old age, it's like, uh, I don't know. I mean, of course, like the option of being rich versus barely making it, nobody wants to barely make it. But then it's like, 
illegal. Do I want to take the chance of going to jail for a long, long, long time? I also feel like sometimes, have you ever seen like, <laughs> this might sound crazy, but hear me out. Really poor people sometimes seem really happy. No, I, yes. there was a story that I saw. You said nah. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I agree with you. There was a story I saw. This dude was, um, and it's it's a it's like a parable. It ain't like a really thing, mm -hmm. real thing to happen. But the guy was like, he had um, he had this great idea or whatever, and he was like, man, oh, okay, my bad. Uh, he was selling fish or something like that. He or he knew how to make fish, something that could have made him rich. Mm -hmm. White dude came and was like, yo, you if you taught other people how to do this, you can make a lot of money. And he was like, and then what? And he was like. Well, then you could, oh, he, here's the key. I'm sorry, let me back up. He was, he had a great idea, but he only used enough to make fish for his family. Mm -hmm. He would go out fishing for a couple hours, feed his family, have a good time, laugh, drink into the night, and be happy. So dude was like, dude, you can make so much more money. He was like, okay, then what? He was like, well, you could franchise and you could sell all these fish to everybody. He was like, and then what? He was like, well, you could have factories all over the world. He's like, and then what? He was like, well, you could have a billion dollars. He's like, and then what? He was like, well, then you could spend your days like fishing and, and giving you know money to your family. He's like, hilarious. This is yeah, exactly what, what I'm what doing do right, right now. now. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what am I gonna go through all of that pain for when I'm already doing what Better I want to do now? Right. And I think yeah. to fishing Keisha's lake. point, there's no cost for a peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that's why yeah. I don't do people wrong. Like yeah. Even like when I worked at the bank and niggas were defrauding people and getting loans to their name and getting bonuses, I was like, but nigga, I live in this city though. Right. And if you ever pull up on somebody and you took advantage of them, Man, you right. got to see that yeah. nigga. Like, right. that's why I try never to do somebody's, you know, wrong because yeah. then there's no peace of mind. Like, I right. could live peacefully not being filthy rich, mm -hmm. right? But I couldn't live peacefully. Like, if, it, if, if I had to take advantage of Keisha and you, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but I could get a billion, then I'm like, but these niggas yeah. like, nigga, we was cool though. And I was right. like, yeah, but it was. I remember like a, a billion. It's a cold game. <laughs> right. But I, I don't think I could, I, I want to do well, but not at the expense yeah. of right. my so reputation and my character being. Right. 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 Yeah. But I remember it was a couple of times I traveled and I was like, I'm from the U.S. And people, dude was like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> He was like, you people, you just work, 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 work. You just stress. You this, you that, da, da, da. Yep. I was like, damn, that's facts. Absolutely he just right. sitting out yeah. here on a crate, like, chilling, living his best chilling. life. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like a rat race in the U.S. because of capitalism. Like, yeah. you always, because the, the, the problem is there's never enough. You know, never you think enough. in your head, if I get this much money, I'll be happy. But what happens when you get there? You're not just going to be like, okay, this is it. No, there's right. always another yeah, level. Yeah, always. It yeah. never stops. So then if you think about somebody who doesn't have anything and they're like, I'm happy with my life. I'm content. You know, yeah. Yeah. it's actually very simple, but it's like, oh, we don't That's work how, like that when in I was America. in like high school and college. Sometimes I'm like, I could just be a hood rat. Like this would be a lot hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Let's put it to a vote. They feel like they having a good time. Right. <laughs> I've been poor a lot, but I haven't been unhappy. Rich from illegal mm -hmm. actions are barely making it from an honest living. <laughs> Getting rich is also very stressful. Mm. <laughs> it is. And, but barely making it is that's the, the key that that's stressful too. It's one thing to be poor, yeah. but it's another thing to be barely, barely making, making it. That's yeah. a lot of stress. I mean, barely making it is really just, you know, poverty, middle middle class. But look, most barely, no, 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 that's middle 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 that ain't that ain't barely, barely no, I barely like, making it is when barely. you are not sure how to pay your rent this month. That's barely. But I think it depends on the definition, because I think most people in America are barely making it, meaning like you have money to pay your rent and you have money for food. But if you miss but you one check, have, two yeah, things you still go wrong. Yeah. 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 And I think most people that's most people at the poverty line or the middle class line. Not the lower, class, though. the lower level of the middle yeah, class. Middle class. Like, most people, but, I think, which if is they right above two, the poverty line, basically. Yeah, like two checks would ruin them. <laughs> I have to well, say, at my old age, I'm gonna go. Stop lose. saying you are that. <laughs> Stop you saying are 38, that. You're 38, Keisha. You went to jail oh, twice. To be, that was you are 38. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> that my my... This woman is in fantastic <laughs> shape. She's traveling the world. As you know her just when in I was my younger. Age. You, you are younger. Right? No one in a jean jacket has I ever said that. <laughs> <laughs> in my old age. You see this gray hair right here? I got gray all by. in my beard. You can't be stressed yeah, by illegal so activities. Of, more and more. Are you going to lean into that? Absolutely. And be like the the whole silver fox thing? Or are going to die? No, die. Stand on what the Lord has taken. It's, it me. always looks like it's like man, it's a little too black. Your hair was never that dark. <laughs> that's what the, I'm at least make the dye. Most people's hair is dark brown. Right. When they go dye, they go jet black asphalt. Right. It doesn't look real. Right. It looks ridiculous. Right. Uh, All right, so Keisha, you say you're gonna go with? I'm gonna go with. Barely making it with an honest living. Guy. Filthy rich. Okay. Wait, what was the, what was the second part of fil filthy wi rich? But it's uh, illegal. From illegal activities. All illegal. Yeah. Or just a little. Uh, no, bit illegal. all illegal. It is just a little. All illegal or all honest. I'm barely making it. No, hey, whatever. You already said your with your piece. Yeah, Damn. Jail though, rich means nothing. 
you're, there's Rich always, you're there's always li- the unlikely feeling. Unlikely to go to jail. No, no, but there's always that feeling of like, I gotta look you over might. my shoulder. You don't get comfortable mm-hmm. technically. With yeah, like, yeah I don't buy a good lawyer. Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. Roll the dice. I'm taking Ugh. my chances. I, you know what? I don't. I don't do well looking over my shoulder, so it'll have well, to barely make it. It's gonna take <laughs> so long to get over. <laughs> All right, here I we go. So much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so so much. It's gonna be great. Struggling to look over your old shoulder is hilarious. Barely making it. (laughs) (laughs) Both it. No, you do that because you ain't got no neck. I do it. My neck is there. That's predictable. Yeah, predictable. Predictable. (laughs) I'm gonna go with Rich too. We're gonna jump into this next topic (laughs) right after this. So you started your own online store, and now you're doing what you love selling products people want and orders are coming in fast now's the hard part shipping those products out luckily shipstation makes that very easy with shipstation it's easy to import and to manage and to ship your orders out fast and for a lot less money it is no wonder why shipstation is the number one shipping software for e-commerce sellers with more five-star reviews than anyone else. You can import orders from any sales channel, ship with any carrier using your deeply discounted rates, and you can automate just about any shipping task. So you can spend a lot less time on shipping and a lot more time on growing your business. I absolutely love ShipStation. It doesn't matter where I'm selling at, whether it's Amazon, Etsy, my own website, ShipStation funnels all my orders into one simple interface that you can manage from anywhere, even from your cell phone. You'll even get amazing discounts from all the major carriers, including UPS, FedEx, or USPS. Easily compare carriers so you can make the best option for you. With ShipStation, small businesses can now access the same rates that are usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies without the contracts and commitment. So ship more in less time. Just use my offer code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to get a free 60-day trial. That's two months free, no hassle, and stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com and click the microphone at the top of the page and type in SQUAD. That's ShipStation.com and enter the offer code SQUAD. ShipStation. Make ship happen. Next topic we have, eat wet nothing nuts. but wet food versus eat nothing but dr- dry food forever. Wait, so like, like wet food, food as in like even gravy? <laughs> like gravy would, would make something? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gravy would make months. something like a mm-hmm. wet food. Okay. Yeah. So uh, with ice so cream, to Keisha's point, is that wet or yeah. Yeah, wet dry? Yeah, it'll be wet. Unless you got it. So dip it dots dry? Dip dots. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. Smoothies? Smoothies will be wet. wet food. So what's dry? Like a sandwich? Dry would be, yeah. Like like Or cereal with no milk? Like a steak. It's meat steak is considered dry, yeah, it right? Would be dry, yes, but yeah. if you put some gravy on it, then you can eat it, right? No, no that's not wet. No sauces. No, 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 that would be wet. Yeah, well, yeah, no, no, no sauces. No, no sauces. Like no, 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 fries will be dry. Damn, that's uh, right. Cornbread, oh, man, that's potato tough. wedges. But just meat. going around eating wet stuff oh, all the time. You go eat in the car. I'm big on sauces, though. I can Like sandwiches, burgers. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Sandwich, you can't have no condiments in. Yeah, no mayo. Does that make it wet, though? It's still dry. I know. I don't think it's really wet, though. If you put like. But he Mayo said no sauces. In the, in the dry world, there's like no sauces, right? I feel like condiments will make it wet, right? Yeah, condiments yeah. will make barbecue okay. sauce, go with ketchup. Foods. Yeah. Because I can do hmm. smoothies and soup. No, I don't, drinks and... don't count. That'd be crazy. Oh, no. wait. What about like sushi? That's But I'm saying like food? as a meal. Oh, that's gotta be dry. Oh, but you can't do it. Well, you could do that no with sauce. both oh, that's okay. options. Though. No ponzu. You know? That's hard. If it's dry. If it's dry, because it's drinks. Drinks don't count, Yeah, but then you can't put none on your sandwich. But I'm just saying like still, if I do dry foods, you can't put none on your sandwich. You can't have chips. Chips are dry. I'm saying dry. I'm saying dry food is. Yeah. Like, oh, you're saying she couldn't have. I feel like I'd be yeah. snatched though. Give me the wet foods. You can put the chips in a smoothie and then you. you but can... the wet foods are like you can have like bad wet foods too, like ice cream. I and mean, yeah. What but... else? What else is there though? Bad wet foods. I feel like all all everything killing you is dry. Is pasta. What? How is it? Well, if you have sauce it, on it, then it's wet. But in the dry oh, world, you can't trash. have no sauce. You can just, just eat dry pasta. You, get <laughs> you can just eat dry pasta. You oh. can't have mac and cheese. Pasta's pretty much out if you pick dry. Because no one's eating dry pasta. Macaroni and cheese, you can't. No. Oh, dry you're mac. Just, you're just eating elbow macaroni. Noodles. No that's greens. Well, there's, there's really no soul food actually. Because uh, our yeah. yams considered wet. Yeah, the way black yeah. people make them, they yes. definitely ain't dry. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because you have all that in butter pan. in there. Mm, yeah. Thanksgiving is What about wet. black eyed peas? Damn. No, no, no mac. Those water dry. And that's probably wet. It's yeah. more mushy. I'm going dry. Mm. 
Most what? I'm going with Mexican it. food is dry Steak. though, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, tacos, that's tacos good. and burritos, and you can no get that without burritos, sauce. You can go. You can't get the melted cheese, but you're not gonna then. have no sauce. You're not gonna is have street tacos. Salsa. Street street tacos no don't even I'm saying burrito, food. burritos. You would need like melted cheese. I just would have to lose out on burritos. But you yeah, wouldn't have no salsa. It'd be dry. Damn, no guac. No guac on anything. But you could have fresh avocado. Just like just bite into uh, avocado and I mean, you, you could cut do it. Do you ever eat bit. fresh avocado? I no. did. I 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 yeah, the avocado business is a is a crazy business. People are getting shot over. It? There's a documentary on Netflix about avocados and how dangerous <laughs> oh, a business. I'm dead serious. <laughs> how dangerous? Sabrina put me onto. I was like, no, I made avocados. She was like, no, no. There's the whole because they're so there's a lot of money in them. Yeah, it's the expensive. avocado game is dangerous. You see how much? It's, well, I mean, how expensive one avocado yeah. is? Like you can bad. tell when something's going on. Cartel? That's that's <laughs> yeah. So it intense. makes so much sense because it'd be like sometimes it'd be like one twenty two <coughs> per hot avocado. I'm like, what? Yeah, hot. Why is it so? Can you imagine somebody putting a bag over your head, like kidnapping you for avocados? You wake up in a warehouse just like, and just making guac. You like this sort of lime. <laughs> About that guac, but I like soups and stuff. Like when I think of Asian food, like you know, like a pho or oh, like ramen man. noodles. Oh, ramen? Or, oh and then I love fire. like cereal. I need milk in my cereal. I like. I need. But I can food. eat cereal dry. It's not. You get the cereal, the cereal is dry. I don't uh, well, if well, it's, you just it have to eat it without milk. Food. Yeah, the milk will the make milk it wet. Would, yeah, it's it's a wet but you can still have dry cereal, which yeah, doesn't have the same effect, but it yeah. still tastes good. It doesn't. Oh. Yeah, so you need mm. milk. It's it like a toddler better. with a little baggy filled with okay. <laughs> <laughs> cereal. <Dry. laughs> um, I, don't know. I still gotta go dry. I don't know. I think I'm going dry too. <laughs> I'm going wet. I am definitely going wet. I would miss my fried okra. Does that mean you can't? No, but it, no, if I'm if I go wet, then wait, I can't wait, have because it. Wait, 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 because okra is like oh, slimy it, on the middle. Regular okra I can still okra have. Okra for sure is slimy. But I couldn't do fried okra. Yeah, okra wait, why not? Because it's still go. slimy and wet. But I feel like that would be more considered dry. It would be it considered is. wet. It's the same juicy Once as a steak. Once you fry it. Oh. Juicy shouldn't count. Because it's not really slimy. No, if it's fried like natural juicy, I don't Yeah, fried okra is not. Fried green tomatoes are fire. What about eating coochie? Definitely wet. So you got to be able to do that. That's wet, Hopefully. Yes. So you wouldn't be able to. Because the outside is dry. Yeah, and if huh? it's dry, you're going to get You wouldn't be able to. <laughs> well, then, well, then what's penis in? <laughs> penis is dry then? Coochie's out. Whatever coochie's in, I'm on that side. Penis is dry. You're like, I'm out. sorry. I can't get you hit because <laughs> uh, I can't eat dry food. But, but you can still <laughs> do me. Coochie's kind of dry until you eat it. It can start off dry. It should not be dry until you eat it. No, it you didn't do your job beforehand, okay? Or she could be on medicine. What if you just went straight for it? She could be dead. What? Dry coochie. But if she into she you, she should be moist. She says. I agree. I'm on whatever side coochie is. Coochie, coochie's a part of the equation. Not cutting it out of my diet. It's wet food. It's wet. Heavy, heavy coochie uh, heavy. diet. Heavy on the coochie. Heavy coochie. Oh, how did I get this figure? Like, coochie about three, four times a day. I've been on a high coochie diet. You would have abs. Early. You have really good abs. Yeah. It's called the keto. <laughs> <laughs> but you're oh not in God. shape. Yeah. I mean, I don't eat it. <laughs> Tell you about my sex life. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't lose weight or anything. That if Mexican hilarious. food is still on the table with dry, outside Italian of Italian food took... is kind of in the middle though. No, Italian food Italian is mostly is wet. It's wet because the sauces. The sauce. You need you need sauce for pasta. We need all the wet sauce. Pizza is will pizza be on wet? wet. Pizza will be wet because of the yeah, taco. I mean, because the of the sauce. tomato sauce. Italian people, their sauce. I'm trying to think of Italian food that's not sauce based. Caprese Bread salad. Sticks. Without the oh, balsamic breadsticks, bread yeah. breadsticks, bread but I don't know. And, um, do Italian people, I, when I'm eating at a real Italian restaurant, is that just an Olive Garden thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what America. Right. Yeah, yeah, Olive Garden. When I was in Italy, they were not it's like just regular bread. bread. It's like their yeah, they have bread, some sourdough but, uh, type of I bread. I know like, nobody brought bread out either. Also, that's a uniquely American thing. Like yeah. I know yeah. you fat Americans are hungry before you even get the menu. Just <laughs> nosh on this. Right. In other countries, they don't just be giving you right. stuff yeah. like, here, yeah. fat. So I mean, that makes sense. Uh, Appetizers never made sense fire, to me. Really? I mean, I love them, but that's it's just, just like indul- It's just a extra meal. indulgent. That's and how America is, though. We're just overly is. indulgent. Love me some Pre-meal and post-meal. Especially in America. A lot of appetizers are the same size as what you're finna eat. Right. And then yeah, you act like you don't have no... Like, you should be full, but you're like, nope, I have room. So that's like Appetizers are now burgers and stuff. Like I, the, 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 app, the American, uh, this is the interesting thought I just thought of. Do you think that our diet is part of capitalism? Yes, a hundred percent. Like we make more money, we should be like we should eat more and more. Yes. And, Why do you think the? 
Yes. Robert Baratheon. Yeah. That's why I've been doing it. <laughs> I'm like, man, because I got enough. You was doing that when you was poor. You was doing that when you was poor. I wasn't fat, though. You gotta, I didn't have enough. For, I, just listen, for when I had want. my own apartment. Oh, you just had a bad body. Like, nigga, you went fat I was, I, you talk about, that's why I always get mad at people who are saying poor people don't know how to budget. Poor people know how to budget More better than, than anybody. anybody. Right, right. They Absolutely. know how much they have <laughs> towards to the penny. Because they have that's to, yeah. when gas goes up eight cents. Niggas is already doing the math of what they got to take out. So don't put, <laughs> they just don't have enough money. It ain't that yeah, they don't well. know how to budget. But um, hmm, that's true. it was like, nigga, two waffles. <laughs> and no matter what happens, I can't eat again. <laughs> no matter what I eat now or later, all I got left is this chunky soup. <laughs> if I eat it at nine or three, yeah. I don't get a chance to eat Either it again. Either way, it's two times. <laughs> you and can do I it all now until I get back at seven o'clock. That's when you guys just go to sleep. <laughs> Man, Nigga, yeah, I have yeah, had like, plenty of life. Sleep well, for we dinner. Just go to sleep. at least I won't feel it. Put a nap <laughs> yet. <laughs> Then you mess around. <laughs> you mess around. A dream about being in a restaurant now? And still can't afford the food. No, I never oh, thought about getting God. ready. <laughs> Not yet. In the morning, where'd you eat at? I was at, I was at Sizzler, man. Could have been delicious. Oh, that's the worst feeling. Ooh. Waking up hungry. Still that's tasted. why I feel like our parents got sent us to bed anyway. Like, go to bed. I mean, there wasn't enough anyway. Wasn't What's for dinner? You oh, you hungry? Ever, go to bed. You think they did that as a like a cop out for not having food. Right. Yeah, it's like no no no. That's just go to bed. It's bedtime. Because it was thirteen of them plus my grandma and granddaddy. That's thirteen of what? People. Kids and then my house? grandma and granddaddy. You, oh, wow. you can't be eating every day. With so 13? she was like, sometimes you would be like, go to sleep, or if you didn't get get down to that table with enough time, you didn't eat nothing. Right. That's a wild I don't know existence. What to tell you. That's real. <laughs> that ter- thirteenth kid is like, but I'm small and weak. <laughs> Natural selection, little nigga. But, but my <laughs> room's furthest from the table. Small and weak, little tiny tip. Rice and roll. Survival. Nigga, we were so poor. We was having hamburger helper with no hamburger. Nigga, just helper. Just helper. Like, nigga, I've done that with tuna helper too. Yeah. 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 A little pasta. I'm like, this is actually pretty fire. It is pretty good. <laughs> The little beef, beef stroking off the of no beef. <laughs> <laughs> the, little beef. <laughs> the cheesy hamburger flavor. Tell no yourself hamburger. you don't even need it. Really, uh, too much meat ain't good for you anywhere. I'm going to go. It goes to like a the sodium. Thing. The no, amount of sodium you, you eat ain't going to hurt you either. <laughs> yeah. No, when you're poor, your body knows you got to have a high sodium. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I'm talking yeah, ramen noodles. Every, everything is preserved, so everything has salt in it. Yes. yes. The ramen noodles, boy, they got so much salt in them. Nigga, 13 cents. That's all my mom got into. 13 cents. That's why diabetes is so good. 13. We had, nigga, we had. Had so many kids, so many summers so just I bad. Never got into ramen. Being, um, I went to college and it was all like ramen noodles, ramen noodles. I'm like, what is that? And then the packet, I was like, oh no, and, uh, that looks like a Brillo pad, a sponge. Like mm-hmm. I'm not, no. We ate, I ate that a lot. Uh, yeah, I didn't Brillo pads? No, no, ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. <laughs> it's like, man. But I tried to make it gourmet and put like an egg and a hot dog in it. Like, oh, this is fire. That's why meal. when you're poor, you I don't know. have time to think about what's in the hot dog. Nigga, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Also, right. adding a hot dog to anything does not make it better. <laughs> like, hot, not links, like hot dog. <laughs> hot dog and ramen was man. good. It was Beanie good. weenies? People were trying to tell you, like, to tell me, like, what was in a hot dog while I was eating a hot dog. I was just listening to him. That's great. Well, no, this, at this time in your life, we're talking about we're poor. Right. You didn't, have you to didn't know better and no, didn't I, have the I money still, for it. I still it love a good it's barbecue hot dog. Love. I don't know. Sure. That's just we like a meat to smoothie, hear. isn't it? It's grown on the back of the head. I love it. Who invented the hot dog? That was a genius. And then he just lined it with stomach. Who thought of that? Yeah, uh, probably. Yes. They're probably just like, we have a lot of scraps left over. Here, you're poor. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that's how poor I got into now? toothpaste. Is that what you're saying? Oh. You don't like- I uh. will eat a hot dog now, a barbecue hot dog yeah. at a cookout, um, or if I'm at a baseball game. Something about baseball, I'd be like, this is a time dog for yeah, no. yeah. Yeah. It, it has to be baseball. like, literally, I'm starving and there's nothing else. Hot links. I, but if I went a whole like year a without a hot dog, I wouldn't even think. Yeah. Man, I missed the hot I dog. I just keep thinking, mm-hmm. oh, this is mechanically separated meat as I eat it. So that's I, why I, that I never, even as a kid, I got a strong it You gotta have a strong It's like the way they do it, it's because they take all the scraps. Like, you know, once you like make chicken, all that stuff, like, you know, the little gristle and all that stuff that's left uh, around I the bone, gristle, they take though. all that together, mm-hmm. mix it together, put I some like chemicals gristle, though, in it, roll it through the machine, and then it comes out like that. I hate watching any video from a factory. It's just like, just don't tell me. Basically, dies every month. 
Coochie? Coochie. No. That is the uterus line. Uterus line. You said the uterus put together. Nobody's eating it inside of a uterus. The uterine lining dies. It just got to go out through the... There's just one door for the whole thing. They still touch it. The germs will be on it. It ain't coming. No, exactly. The coochie dies. They ain't washed. You said the coochie dies once a month. It's not what happens. The coochie be like... There's a lot of parts of it. There's the internal... And you're not eating it when that time. Oh. The thing me. about Gucci, uh, the, the woman cycle, I never realized like the period is just one part of the cycle. It's not the whole thing. Yeah. No, you got it's the a pre- whole 30 day, yeah. like a 28 day cycle. Yeah. There's a lot going on. You only bleed for like, you know, we only pay attention to, to the time you can't have sex. Right. <laughs> but the pre menstrual cycle, there's bloating, there's sore Damn. nipples, mm-hmm. there's there's dryness, there's that's frustration. How, that's how Farron knows she's about to come on. And she's like, oh, my titties hurt. Every time I'm like, fuck. I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm out. Y'all, you better hurry up getting in that one last time. I got one more day. You got that. Well, no, 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 you might as well, well start a clock. I ain't even worried about that part. I was like, that her energy might change. Okay. Like, I ain't worried. Yeah. Like, I'm, we grown. Uh, Did y'all ever run the red lights growing up? Mm-hmm. What is run the red light? You know, have sex. I just said it. I just said it. Why don't you just say having grow, grow. sex on a period? Because what's a red light? Things like right. this. Oh, it's more just run the red it's light. So much, yeah. That's it depends on where we are. If we, it's like, hey, listen, we only gonna be in Quebec for two nights. What what is it about spending money on hotel like now? We gonna do this. Exactly. 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 We done came all the way across the international water. These ain't know our sheets. We ain't gotta worry about this ah! shit. I'm, ah! I'm peeing on you tonight. Oh my god! <laughs> but we act like we don't have to sleep in that bed that night. No, no, like, you get a double. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What we get a double. Oh my god! Like, uh oh. The double is for the reason I don't like staying in hotels. Just the dirty stuff that people do. We're in Quebec. I'm peeing on you. He was in the flight. Yeah. No, no, I don't gotta go to the bathroom. I'm waiting. Stewardess, another water? Oh my God. <laughs> that is awful. <laughs> Sparkling if you have it tonight. It's been a lot of water, sir. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm peeing you on her. You looked at her and you're like, I can't wait to pee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Drown your belly button tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> that is so rough. I can't get past the. The thing about <laughs> pee, like, this, even if it's sexual, it's just. That's the it's just pee has nothing has about smell. it sexual. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing it's sexual. It's more, it's more water. of a. Conquering more, mentality. That and then also like, well, like women you're like, like tall. You're like, what else can I do? Conquering. How can I be? How can I feel like tall people do? What if you want to come, sex is on the table though. What could they like it, about it? They. Um, it's like a like it. Some women like to be the like, submission type. Yeah, the, the submission. But you gotta get a step to the pee. You like? I mean, tell me what to lay down on the bed. I'm standing over her on the bed. I don't. And when did conquering become? I want to take a dump on your chest. There's people that's, who do that's that. That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't yuck anybody's yum, man. I, just I yuck yums. <laughs> I don't. What I do you say? I don't, don't yuck, yuck yum. What is yuck I don't yuck, yuck so A lot of sexologists say oh. when people don't get into kink play. Don't yuck my yum. That's a whole play. thing. Uh, that's when they terrifying. get what? They get into kink play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They say oh, don't yuck people's yum. That's specifically for kinks? Yeah, and BDSM and all of that. So, like, it's like it's different sub layers with BDSM. Like, some people are into kink play. Some people are into, like, brat play. It's all... Brat? Yeah, so, like... We were dating somebody like the functified, <laughs> <laughs> like the brat dolls, like you, uh... <laughs> brat play. That's weird. What? That's weird. Someone that I like, like intentionally tries to be defiant or just be bratty that day, like come upstairs or whatever. It just be like, what are you doing? Like all of that type That's of stuff. So just annoying. act like a brat. I, you don't. I, I, I would not want. I, I would yeah, not yeah. want to have sex. So yeah. basically, yeah. I'm like, no, 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 no. stop, nigga. So you don't stop do doing that. But the, the thing is, the person that they're doing it to, they they know their role. So you don't do anything. You just make a mental like, note. No, you make a mental pop. note of it, and then later, <laughs> doing sex, you administer the punishment. The punishment could be in the form of spanking. The punishment could be in the form of choking. Seems a little pedophile-y. Be... No, it's not. It's, it's just like, no, I don't want to go Why do you know, know that the term for it is brat play? That must be you, huh? No, because like, we, we, talk, we talk about it on Mortal the Story. We talk about a lot of stuff on Mortal the Story. Brat play is a new one for me. I've never heard of that. Scat play is... That's what is that? Scat. That's what That sounds like a disease. <laughs> <laughs> that, the, the, no, I, I, I hate you. Let's put it to a vote. Right. Uh, we did real scat. He never been wet food. He never been wet food. How we get from wet food to scat food forever? What we going with, Keisha? I'm all wet. Wet food. Well, is coochie out? Coochie's wet food. Coochie's in. Wet. Okay. I do wet. Wet food. And? Try it. Wet coochie. I hate the word coochie. You said oh, what? The word coochie. The word. What's wrong with the word coochie? I don't know, just... Do you like pussy better? Ugh. Ugh. I, I mean, that sounds no, harsher. But like... What's your favorite? Vagina. Not in a general conversation. No, not pussy. Like if it in was... a general conversation. Yeah, no. When yeah, did, vagina. When would you use that? I would use it if I'm having sex during sex. Yeah. Coochie. But so you wouldn't say coochie. coochie? No. Coochie. That's so you use vagina during <laughs> sex. 
No. Come eat no, the no, coochie. Eat the oh. Oh. Scientific terms in sex feel weird. Mm-mm. Suck this penis. Penis like should you never like be said. <laughs> penis. <laughs> scrotum. <laughs> A Cock more, is not scientific. Te- that's that's a little more. Te- know, really. the 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 have it. We're gonna be <laughs> right back right after this. Cheers to 2022 and resolutions you can actually keep. Now about having clean and shiny balls year round. Our sponsors at Manscaped are here to save your balls this year and to make the ball drop going into 2022 the cleanest and sexiest ever. Set your first New Year's resolutions with good intentions and join the four million men worldwide. Who trust Manscaped. With our exclusive offer, go to manscaped.com, use the code squad to get 20% off and free shipping. In 2022, I'm going to be trying some different grooming routines like shaving my chest because it's getting a little furry right now during the wintertime and I'm not feeling that. So it's going to be definitely a new year, new me with the global leaders of below the waist grooming. This year, take your package to the next level with their Performance Package 4.0 Ultimate Premium Body Wash. Inside the Performance Package 4.0, you get the signature Lawnmower 4.0. This electric trimmer is designed to trim hair on loose skin. The advanced skin safe technology reduces cuts and nicks on your delicate nuts. It also comes equipped with the 4000K LED spotlight that will shine a light on the promised land 2022 looks to be. A grooming routine is not complete unless you apply that crop preserver and that crop reviver before showing off your 2022 self. These unique formulations take care of the smelliest parts of your body and are a big boost to your confidence going into the new year. To complete the package, Manscaped doing their shed travel bag and their anti-chafing boxer briefs as a free gift to keep all your goodies stored comfortably. And of course, a new product that needs no introduction, the Ultimate Premium Body Wash from Manscaped. Solves all three for your perfect addition to your daily grooming routine, but in the shower. I shower every day and I hope you do too. This body wash smells amazing too. It's cologne infused with aloe vera and sea salt to keep your skin feeling clean, nice, and moisturized. Kick discomfort and poor hygiene to the curb this year and use the best tools for the job. Whether your resolution is to work out more or to travel to new places, be sure to travel to manscaped.com for their exclusive offer of 20% off plus free shipping when you use the code SQUAD. So cheers to new balls in 2022. So remember, get 20% off plus free shipping when you use the code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code SQUAD. It's New Year and no pews in 2022 with Manscaped. Last topic of the day, we have Gucci. Which would you rather give Gucci. up? <laughs> YouTube versus Twitter. Gooch or what? I give up Twitter. Oh, I don't even have Twitter. Right. Twitter? You don't have it? I delete my Twitter. It's just too much. For me. Like, it's just too much. Instagram, Facebook, emails, personal emails. You said YouTube? Messages, phone calls. You got to see people. You got to talk to people. YouTube is. YouTube, but YouTube, YouTube is hard to get rid of. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it YouTube both has entertainment, like you were saying. And I was literally create. having that thought. I was like, if I if I didn't teach my son to change a tire, which I plan on, that is now not something they could not figure out. Mm-hmm. How to tie right. a tie? I didn't know how to tie a bow tie. YouTube, how to tie a bow tie? Right. Like, yeah. yeah. So music videos, shows, mm-hmm. and entertainment. Twitter, I get a lot of my podcast ideas from there, and a lot of information from there. But it's also chaotic and cynical. It is very chaotic. There's so much going on. YouTube, it's a dark right? world. It's, it's a, it's a dark underworld. dark world. You okay, you, you wouldn't say like... that about YouTube, though? No, I it's feel like dark. I can avoid that easier on YouTube yeah. than other things. How about you search for what you... You can search for what you right. on YouTube and on Twitter or whatever, whomever you follow or whatever. Right? It's just or whatever they feed. retweet or like is just on uh, your yeah, timeline. So like yeah. to their point about like what you search, then the recommended becomes that. Like I was talking to my son about that. I was like, what do you? who do you subscribe to? He was like, I don't subscribe to anyone. <laughs> on YouTube? Yeah. He was like, how do you find stuff? He was like, the recommended. And I was like, so wow. you don't even... He was like, no, if I, I, I search for what I want to watch and then the creators happen and then I, I follow them and then I usually don't... They don't have to subscribe to them to to watch their, their stuff anymore. Mm. And I know they'd say YouTube. YouTube has become their primary that's, source yeah. of Well, that's crazy to grow up when... You, we saw YouTube happen from yes. cable and all that, mm-hmm. but to just be grown... Like, to grow up and all that... Yeah. Like, that's well, the thing all is, my daughter watches. Is, all my daughter watches is YouTube. I mean, no, why is that all my 70-year-old father watches now? I'm like, first of all, how you get on the YouTube, okay? Yeah. Where, where what did is, you what what is he watch? I was, that's what I asked him. 
like, what you be watching on there? He was like, that's a lot of news on there. I was like, so you don't watch CNN anymore? Wow. Imagine your He's dad like, opening up a laptop and getting some coffee. Like a newspaper? Like, yeah. News. Holding the, la- the laptop. Yeah, like no, this. but he's like, but the craziest <laughs> thing. <laughs> Force a habit. That's hilarious. <laughs> Probably what he does. But like the stuff that he be talking about is like all conspiracy theory, like raw, completely wrong stuff. It's not even like the conspiracy theories you be like, oh, you might have a point to that. He be finding some of the craziest stuff. What's something stuff. your dad buys into? Like, what did he say? He Some guy was saying how, um, he was talking about coronavirus and how it's like, I forgot what he told me. So it, it, to the point where my dad was like, everybody needs to get vaccinated. Even even the people that they said on the vaccine don't get vaccinated. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, you mean like, I think it's like I mean, people with compromise? Graves disease aren't supposed to get yeah, vaccinations because yeah, yeah. you could get a stroke. He was like, no, they're supposed to get it too. And I was like, what? Mm-hmm. If you watch enough stuff, there's somebody who believes everything. Yes. There's plenty of stuff that you'd be like, yeah, you ain't crazy. <laughs> like, I was talking to somebody who don't believe the September 11th that planes hit the buildings at all. At right. all, or it wasn't an inside. It was an inside job. I was inside job. I know a lot of people believe I've that. I've seen people say it's some people like believe the whole the thing. The video that we saw, a plane hitting, mm-hmm. they were like, "Okay, but watch this." <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> you don't see the plane from out there. I'm like, "Well, the thing is, looking at that, why was the camera already on the building?" I love well, because the first one already had. Oh, but did you see the first one? <laughs> Well, who's just recording the... Nah. <laughs> when, when they, were, the they were never there. It was never like, I saw it. It's always just like, I watched a video. <laughs> There's one that I, I'm like, uh, the, the moon landing? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. After a while, I'm just like... Maybe I, we did it. Maybe we didn't. Think there. about it. The United States. I'm like, I don't. I have. I don't put much past the United States, <laughs> right? Because right. they could have used that money for a whole bunch of different reasons. The space race. I'm not saying I don't believe it, but that's one where I'm like, hmm, is it true we've never maybe. been back since? That's another thing. Niggas went to the moon. They were like, said, well, we been. that was fun. <laughs> they got there before Russia. Time. That was it. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but that else. Whole morale thing. Like that part could be true. Morale and beating Russia in something that. That oh yeah, because it was like the Cold War, it was right? The Cold after War. That, so it was that was like big back then. Like, did the flag a, not move? Yeah. Oh it, no, it was there's like no, waving. No, it did not move. It was like. It was great, but there's no air in space, so they had to prop it up from the sea. That's why when I was watching Fast mm-hmm. and Furious, when they hit the gas and their car went forward, I was like, that doesn't make sense. In space? Yeah, Fast they were in Furious, space. Nah, yes. They went to space. Yes, nigga. Ludacris <laughs> and Tyrese were in a, in space <laughs> in a car, and they rammed their car. This is just, the, 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 this point. the car was in space. This sounds still. so fake. <laughs> Kid you not? Kid you My not? Bad. In space, still they were like, we got to destroy the satellite, and they were like, hit the gas, vroom. And I'm like, <laughs> the tires like, no. are not on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to. <laughs> if you, and they were floating, and they just went <laughs> in it, and the car was like, vroom, I don't understand boom. Why, why people are confused about this. The rock. <laughs> Held a helicopter up on the last one. <laughs> it's bare. This nigga grabbed the rope and was like helicopter. No, no, up no. To hear, he was holding the helicopter with one oh, hand. Oh, right. And yeah, he had the car. The and other. that nigga's body should have been ripped off. Oh, he's strong. <laughs> Very strong. We are literally watching people running out of ideas. Like, right. And still like trying. movie to movie. I, I for one, That's love great. that they just were like, who cares? Whatever. Yeah. Right. When if they drove the car out of the thing into out of one building into the other one, I was like, okay. Oh, yeah. I yeah. heard time travel is like a serious idea. Anything. Dinosaurs. I'm in. I that want them crazy, to strap though. a rocket to a Stegosaurus Rex. <laughs> 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 I wanted to go back in time and fight. Attila the Hun. I'm all in. As I long as Vin Diesel says family. Find Fred Flintstone's <laughs> foot car and then put Nas on it. <laughs> he got the little feet, the rock store feet. <laughs> all in. That's the most ridiculous thing ever when you think about it. It's like, why, why are you people in the still star? paying you to watch it? They, I can't think of a movie pay. series that has gone so far from where they started. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. You watch the first you one you, and they get to nine. Yeah. You got to Three, two, one. What else can you do? You have to. Man before time. You have to keep doing stuff to keep it going. They gotta raise the bar. You said Man. the Land Before Time came on that long? I think mean, they got like they 14 really? movies. Really? Yeah, I, feel I haven't like seen I've them only though. seen one. Did no, they grow they, up? They too? Nope. They're still kids? Petey is still. Petey <laughs> <laughs> is still little. Know what that is, but... They replaced the girl who got killed? Who? What what girl? Was, which one was it? Land Before Time or Fast and Furious? Land Before Time. The little girl. What little girl? The little. Oh, the she little was like a triceratops? 
No, no, no. Triceratops. The, who's girl. the who was the tiniest dinosaur? Who was it part time? Oh. Mm-hmm. The I tiniest remember, dinosaur. He's talking Petrie. about you're talking about Petrie. That's the one I remember. I don't remember nobody else's name. Petrie was a little the little tiny uh, one. It looked yeah. like what was he a pterodactyl or something? Little pterodactyl. Three, oh yeah, six, the, um, nine, the little girl who voiced that eleven. shot. It's eleven of them. I feel like eleven? I stopped yeah. watching after like eleven. The first Land before time. Damn. James Bond has a lot of movies, but they reboot it with a new person. I feel like that starts the clock over. Yeah, that's different. I feel like you can do that. Because then they got they got five with Daniel Craig though, I believe. Is that yeah. the most? Mm-hmm. I think this is the last one with him. That's the most? I believe so. I think Pierce Brosnan got like three. How about Sean, Sean Connery? Connery? He might have got like. Sean Connery got a bunch. Yeah, he might have got. Uh, he probably had more than. Uh, he's my favorite. Yeah, he's your favorite? Mm-hmm. I like Pierce either. Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan to me is synonymous because he is what he was Golden them. Eye looked was based <laughs> off of him. Yeah. That's what all it all it is. It's all about what was in your time. And then right. you hang yeah, on yeah, to yeah. that. Even Pierce Brosnan was better. the first one I saw. Yeah, Pierce Brosnan was the first one I saw, but when I realized there was like a bunch of them, I was like, oh, I like the Sean Connery ones. He's, yeah. he's just more handsome. That's all. You think? Yeah, he his is. Voice oh my is gosh. Funny. He's I like his voice. Amazing. Daniel Craig was, they were just like, let's just go for a fight. <laughs> the handsome part, they were like, forget nah, about that. that, that we we did that already. <laughs> Bring your rough face over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but that nigga, when Javier Bardem was the villain, who's that? Uh, yeah, yeah. The nigga from No Country for Old, Wim- uh, Old Men, I think it's Skyfall. Yeah, Skyfall. Skyfall? Oh. Mm-hmm. That nigga was a villain. He was a good yeah, He like, played a good villain. Whoa! I remember his face. What did he do, though? He's the old, he always plays like a very sinister villain who never, mm-hmm. he's like basically Michael Myers with mm-hmm. no mask. Uh, he was in No Country for Old Men. He was in Skyfall. He's in. He's always that kind of like menacing. Mm-hmm. Oh, was yeah. that the villain from um, Die Hard with the Vengeance? The one with um, Samuel Jackson, that old guy with like wrinkly face. Mm-hmm. No, that was no, a British no. accent. No, this guy, in No Country for Old Men, he was ruthless. This nigga had. He was burning people just Bro, straight yeah. up. And him with the the cow piercer, like that. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> It was wild. That thing that kills. Yeah, uh, that you he was killing people with, with that in El Paso. Roger Moore and Sean Connery both tied for first place with seven movies each. Seven. Was Roger Moore before Sean Connery? I think so. Never uh, heard I that name. So. Yeah. Me neither. Who? How many did Pierce get? Uh, Pierce got four. Daniel yeah, Craig four? has four. Mm-hmm. Timothy Dalton one. George. Man, at one point, you how many? Oh, how many Idris got? We only had one. Idris. 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 Damn. They want they're like James Bond can never be black. I'm like this nigga is a fictional he's character. Made up. <laughs> why can't he be black? Is that why it didn't go he's through? He's British. Man, it was so I much. Out, it was so much outcry when it was just a rumor. It wasn't even right, like right. I, if I were interested, I would be like, I don't even want to go. Yeah, down right. Path. Let me just make more seasons of Luther. Then they were saying it was supposed to be the black chick that was <laughs> in the like last Luther. one that was driving. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was supposed yeah. to be her. Man, they were gonna make her 008. Mm. They might do something like that before they make that person 007. Yeah. Who was that I've black never girl? Seen any of those movies. Wait till they make Big Batman surprise. black though. <laughs> <laughs> <Everybody's gonna laughs> You've never seen any James Bond movie? Keisha, what did you do <laughs> growing up? Did you ever watch me? She got locked up, nigga. <laughs> now, I'm actually more confused because you got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> the, I don't do stuff. Plus, I'm a chem, ke, uh, computer engineer. I'm like, okay, I can see why you don't watch movies. But then you have some crimes. I now don't I'm like, have a felony. Who? Pet? All right, what was it? Pet what you do? Did you tell us on camera though? Talking about James Bond here. No, man. You know they got to watch our post. Let's put it to a vote. No YouTube versus no Twitter. No, Twitter. no Twitter. No Twitter. No Twitter. No Twitter. Twitter. Now, no YouTube Twitter. versus Instagram, we have a, a lot tougher of a discussion. Oh, right. yeah. Uh, no Twitter. Uh, but Twitter, get out of here. <laughs> YouTube looks like it has it on that one, guys. Uh, <laughs> shout out to the original squad. We got uh, lunch. Pat Cloud. We got Meg Scoop. We got Kim okay. Sage, And our special That's guest, starving. Keisha E, for stopping in and, and, and jumping in and this episode. And the key yeah. is for the key to her cell. <laughs> 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 Keisha. <laughs> we'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast. What's up? D block. D block. D block. <laughs> D block. <laughs> <laughs>